Hey, welcome back to another video. We came to our local desert, Anza Borrego. It's been a minute since we've been out here. How long do you think it's been? It's been a, maybe almost a year. I yeah, think. definitely not this season, uh, our desert season, so last winter sometime. But we're excited for a trip. We're in an area that I've never been before of this desert. Behind us there, it's uh, Kimmy's sister and my brother-in-law in their Jeep. So thanks for checking out the video and we'll see you on the trail. <laughs> top of Diablo drop-off. I've never done it. I'll try it in my truck. I think my brother-in-law Sean in the Jeep, he's done it before. It'll be a lot easier in his rig. We'll go down it. Maybe we'll try and come up it. I just got gears and lockers, so hopefully it makes it a little easier. We're gonna have some lunch for a minute and then we'll get to it. There's two of them. Look at that. on Diablo drop-off went up and down it a couple times each um, super simple truck work great lockers gears 37 inch tires it all worked awesome so we're done playing on that and now we're hitting this little uh, rock kind of slot canyon section <laughs> We just finished up, came out the Fish Creek side. We got Split Mountain Road right behind me here. We're gonna take the highway, I think, on the 86 over towards Arroyo Salado, if I'm saying that right. Kind of towards the Badlands or 4x4 training area and maybe find camp out on that side. <laughs> Get 
to camp. We're over in the Truck Haven, Tierra del Sol, uh, Badlands, for any of you that know Anza Borrego. Four or five hours on the trail today, but lots of stopping, hanging out, Diablo drop-off, look at the flowers that we showed you earlier. Got here just in time. It's a little before six. The sunset was amazing, wasn't it? It was insane. It was just like every color. It, it just so kept bright. getting better and better. So we got some drone video of that. Um, you either saw it or it'll come right after this. Just setting up camp. There's a cool view back there too. I don't know if they can see it on the camera, but. Uh, yeah, back behind us is the Badlands. You'll probably be able to see it better on the uh, drone stuff. Uh, drone stuff. But um, yeah. <laughs> drone stuff. Drone stuff. Drone stuff. Time for some dinner and then hanging around the fire. Sounds good. Kept it simple tonight. Uh, chicken quesadillas on the Blackstone. We had uh, barbecue chicken last night, so we just repurposed it for some quesadillas tonight. Every time I watch this, I'm like, I don't I watch it like, I would this prefer that. Good morning, we're all packed up. There's uh, ultra lights everywhere. Like here's one right here. So they're flying in this whole area. They're pretty cool. Um, they're dipping down into this canyon. That was just perfect timing. We didn't plan that at all. But we're gonna go off-road a little bit today. Just a quick trip, a single night thing. There's a four by four off-road area with some man-made obstacles that we're gonna go play around on, see if my truck's capable of doing anything. So we'll catch up with you when we get over to that area. here at the 4x4 area. Um, we've never done any flex tests on this Jeep or my truck. It's a 2015 Rubicon Hard Rock Edition. Uh, Sean's got the TerraFlex suspension on it, about the three inch lift mark. He's trying to remember which one exactly. It's got the Overland Springs installed on it instead of the ones that came with the lift. He's got 37 inch BFG KM3s, brake line extensions, hydraulic bump stops. So we're just messing with it, seeing what we need to trim or not trim. The front is nailing it. The rear needs a little bit of work, a little bit of metal trimming and a little bit of plastic trimming for that rear tire to stuff up into the wheel well. Front's handling it, good. Um, yeah, we'll hang out here and we'll try my truck next. Made it up pretty far for how big this truck is. These are 37 inch tires as well. It's stuffed up in there pretty far. It's touching the plastic liner, but nothing metal. Front end's bottomed out on the bump stops. So it's tucked up as far as it can. It's got plenty of room, not touching plastic or metal anywhere in the front, which is good. I was worried about the front tire stuffing up too far into the engine compartment. I'm flexed as far as I can get. Um, so I'm pretty happy with it for, again, for how big this truck and how heavy it is.
I still hate this camera stuff. Do you? Yeah, I really do. I don't know what to say. He puts the camera on me. I have no idea what to say. Well, just, just completely where, blank. Completely where, blank. Where are we at? We're at some mine trail. I don't know what it's called, but we're Cal Calcite mine. Okay. Calcite mine. Calcite mine. We're hiking around this area. It's pretty cool. There's some good views. Looking for calcite. I don't apparently. even know what a calcite is. It's a rock. It, <laughs> okay. it's some sort of rock. So, came out this trail. It was rated as like a 7 out of 10, but it's very easy. It's like um, a 3 out of 10. Yeah. <laughs> it's a pretty stock vehicle. Could come out here. And then just roaming around. Just finished um, checking out Fonts Point. The four mile trail to get out there is nothing. It's just a sand wash. But the view at the end is amazing. And then Inspiration Wash is what we're in right now. And that's right next to Fonts Point. And this is pretty cool. This is like a sandstone uh, slot trail area and uh, it's pretty fun so it's worth checking out Just wrapped up Inspiration Wash, uh, super fun area, a bunch of sand. It was like glamorous, but without all the craziness. Yeah, that, <laughs> there was a ton of flowers too. We're gonna wrap up this trip. A uh, lot of fun, quick like 36 hour trip. Uh, we're all aired back up. I kind of like just the one night trips. It's just the single night trips? Yeah. They're a lot easier. A lot easier. Not much prep, um, not a bunch of food planning, all that stuff. So yeah, head back home. Thanks for checking out the video and we'll see you on the next one. See you on the next one.